today I'm gonna wing to Girl, you Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah and it is beautiful to meet you and welcome to the hashtag hot mess crew. I hope that you're excited to be here because we are excited to have you. So yeah. Today I'm gonna be doing a January favorites video and I know it's already like almost mid-February, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, it's happening, so deal with it. I don't really have much to say other than I'm just going to be telling you some of my favorite products of January, which this week is filled with hashtag not a beauty guru videos because today's January favorites and Saturdays I'm doing a makeup tutorial on this look. So I hope that you are enjoying these not a beauty guru, beauty guru videos, basically. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. These are in no particular order. It's just all stuff I've been enjoying. So, the very first thing I'm going to show you is my Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana perfume. This stuff is amazing. I got it from Sephora as a gift for spending, like, for getting the, so many points. Um, and I got, like, the little travel size version, but I loved it so much that I asked for it for my birthday, and I got it. So, ever since then, I've just been using it constantly. Then I have an eyebrow pencil which gives me these beautiful brows. So it is the NYX Brow... Oh, just kidding. It's the Maybelline New York Brow Define and Fill Duo. And it's in the color Auburn. And one side is powder and then the other side is a stick. So it's really cool because you line your eyebrows and then you fill it in with this little sponge. So it's really cool the way it works. Um, it gives me really nice brows and it matches my hair color perfectly, so I really, really enjoy this. Um, if you're looking for a new cheap brow pencil, I definitely recommend this one. It's been a staple for me this month. I have the most glorious, glorious, glorious eyeliner pen thing eyeliner that I've ever owned. I know you guys know I'm a huge fan of the LA Colors, no, the... Yeah, LA Colors, um, one that's only $1.50, but I found this one for $10, maybe it was $12, at Sephora, and I wanted to try a actual pen, and I didn't want to get, like, a drugstore one, because I know those ones always, like, um, they dry up, basically. So I wanted to try, like, a higher-end one, but I didn't want to go all the way and get, like, a super expensive one, so I found a $10, $12 one, and it's a Sephora Colorful Wink It Felt Liner, and it's the waterproof one, and it's in a little black dress, the color, and it's just, like, a felt tip pen and oh my lord guys it gives me the most phenomenal wings ever so I'm definitely going to go up and splurge and get a more expensive one later in life um but if you're looking to try out a felt tip eyeliner I highly recommend the Sephora one and the next thing is an uh eyeshadow brush and this thing is amazing it is the most amazing eyelash eyelash <laughs> it's the most amazing eyeshadow brush I've ever owned in my life it's the Sephora Pro Featherweight Crease Brush, and this thing is so soft, and it blends out colors so marv marvelously. I cannot speak today, but it's so beautiful, and it just creates, like, the best looks. So, if you're in the need of a... G I sounded British there, sir. Sir. So, if you're in the need for a new eyeshadow crease brush, I definitely recommend trying out this one. It's $18, which is a little expensive. I don't know how much the MAC ones are, and I've never tried the MAC ones, so I can't really compare it. But you can, like, go in the store and you can, like, feel it, and it's so freaking soft. And I need to go buy, like, five more of these because they're my most favorite thing in the world. Then my next favorite is kind of random, but it is the Torrid Eyelash Curler, which I never thought that, like, I would love an eyelash curler so much from a clothing store. But it just makes my eyelashes so freaking big and I just can't, I just can't deal with how amazing it is. So I think it was like $8 maybe. Um, I only bought it because I needed to buy something small to boost me up to the 100 so I get the 50 off. So that's the only reason why I bought it, but I really like it. So if you're in the need for a new eyelash curler and you happen to be by a Torrid, <laughs> recommend this one. I have an eyeshadow palette, which is actually what this look is based off of. And it is the Tartlet In Bloom palette. I talked about this in my get ready with me. I'm talking about it today and I'm talking about it Saturday. So I don't know if you can tell but I really freaking like it. The colors are just so pretty. You can do so many looks with this. You just have like your basic um, goldy browns. You have your mauves. You have purpley shades, just dark brown shades, like pinky shades, like um, rose gold shades. Like you just have everything you could possibly want in so many different ways that you can make beautiful makeup tutorials 
so many different ways you can make so many beautiful looks so if you're in the need for a palette and you want to only spend money on one I would recommend this one it's $45 but it's so worth the money so I love Tarte it's my new favorite makeup product brand whatever it's like my new favorite right now okay and then I actually have three lipsticks because I'm a freak but so the first one is the uh, Too Faced Melted lipstick and it's the matte one that comes in the little thingamabob like this it's not the one that I do have the ones where you just um squeeze it like kind of looks like this a little bit and you squeeze it out and it's like a spongy thing I don't know I have that but I like this one so much better I think that you can have more control with these and plus the color is just so freaking beautiful and sorry my uh my phone's blown up um but yeah <laughs> so if you're in the need for some um, matte lipsticks I recommend this one um, only because I if you remember me making my video last week on the Kylie Jenner lip kits you'll know I don't like them so I recommend Too Faced because can't go wrong with Too Faced and I have two Maybelline matte lipsticks and so basically they're a favorite together and then also separately so if you're in the need for good matte lipsticks that aren't gonna dry your lips out this is something that is super great so they're not liquid lipsticks so they don't like adhere to your lips and stay on like they wear off but when they do wear off you can still see the color so last night when I went out with my sister I went to reapply it in the bathroom and the lipstick I couldn't feel it but you could still see the color so it does have really good lasting effects like the color kind of tints your lips almost a little bit but I love them and they're only like $5.99 from like Target so I highly recommend them if you love matte lipsticks I only wear matte lipstick um and these are like my go-to holy grail matte lipsticks that I can never go wrong with so the color that I'm wearing today and is one of the favorites is the color daringly nude and it's just this pretty um nude color it's I don't know it kind of reminds me of Stella Butard by Kat Von D if you know that it was discontinued but yeah and then the other one that I really like is the lust for blush and it's just a really pretty mauvey purpley color so I love them both dearly and I highly recommend them if you're on the um if you're in the works for some new matte lipsticks so buy those but alrighty guys that concludes my January favorites video I hope that you enjoyed it I know it was a little bit short but I just want to kind of talk to you guys about what I'm really enjoying lately can't speak but I love you guys oh so much and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video so I love you and goodbye Bye. How many times can I say goodbye? Okay, goodbye.